On Tuesday night, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West got back together for dinner at Nobu Malibu. The 43-year-old reality TV star and her 46-year-old husband celebrated their 10-year-old daughter North West's dinner party with her school pals during a rare family get-together. Minutes separated the amicable ex-couple's arrivals, and West's current spouse Bianca Sensori was nowhere to be seen. In honor of Ye's upcoming album Vulture's release, their oldest daughter North and her friends all wore matching, oversized, long-sleeved Vulture's shirts. Shortly after, West deleted all of his Instagram content and shared a very suggestive picture of his 29-year-old wife, an architectural designer. This was probably done in advance of the release of his upcoming album. Kata Shane looked stunning in a very cropped tube, blouse, paired with high-waisted velour, or fur pants, for their midweek get-together. To add inches to her height, she added matching patent leather, shoes, and a long velvet trench coat. She wore her dark, raisin black hair down in carefree, beach, waves, and went for a monochrome pink cosmetics look. The creator of SKIMS was spotted leaving the store holding a crystalline Balenciaga stiletto clutch purse in one hand and her cell phone in the other. North, her 11-year-old cousin Penelope Disick, and their companions wore black Yeezy slides and matching vultures tees. West arrived wearing the striking ensemble he has been wearing lately. He wore combat boots that were unlaced waxed jeans, and a leather bomber jacket. In addition to hiding his face with a hosiery mask, the 24-time Grammy winner did so when boarding his Range Rover. Additionally, it looked like West was parked in a disability space. He deleted his Instagram account early on Wednesday morning, only hours after posting a lewd picture of his wife posing in a sheer Yeezy tank top and an extremely sensual mini thong. Despite the removal of all grid posts from his account, he preserved to Instagram stories images with a model and his spouse donning WET shirts from his apparel brand. Being one of the first to embrace the social media ban, West might be getting ready for the 41-year-old rapper Ty Dola Ign's upcoming album release. Next month, the two musicians will release their first studio album, Vultures, as a duet called West published a trailer for Vultures in a post that has since been removed, revealing that the album will be released in three parts. February 9th is the scheduled date for the inaugural edition, which has been repeatedly rescheduled since a live streamed hearing session in Miami late last year. The next book is anticipated to arrive on April 5th. The second volume is scheduled for March 8th. This is West's debut album after being involved in several scandals most notably being called out for his derogatory and anti-Semitic outbursts. He is releasing his new record on his own. After being pressured by Sensori to do so, the controversial star has now publicly apologized to the Jewish community in a 40-minute video. He had already uploaded a formal apology in Hebrew for his spate of inappropriate and insane comments. Last month, he praised Hitler in Las Vegas and rapped anti-Semitic lyrics in Dubai. How Am I Anti-Semitic? was written by Kanye, who the Anti-Defamation League described as disgusting, unrepentant, and definitely a misogynist in November. I Just F at a Jewish B appears in the Vulture's title tune. Since Arise close friends encouraged him to apologize, expressing concern for their safety. According to an insider, Kanye was under pressure from Bianca to produce this video, because, she was really concerned that he was endangering their safety. They've received threats, and her friends have texted her multiple times expressing their fear. According to the insider, Ye has also taken offense at the worried messages that Sensori has been getting from her friends, telling her to come back home and get out while she can. Only a few days prior, West made news for an intense altercation with a reporter in a now viral video, after the reporter asked him if he limits his wife's free will.